The biggest international event to ever be hosted in Solomon Islands is kicking off. 24 Pacific countries and territories, including Australia and New Zealand, have athletes competing over the next two weeks in Honiara. I spoke with RNZ Pacific editor Kuroi Hawkins, who is on his way to cover the event. Thank you, Thomas Elisa. Yes, so the opening ceremony is on the 19th of November. I get there on the morning of the Sunday. However, some sports have already kicked off on the Friday. We've had uh, football kickoff. We've had volleyball kickoff, tennis and basketball. So really exciting times. Looking forward to getting there and getting in on some of that action. Who are the defending champions? Yes, so coming in from the last Pacific Games, which was in Samoa, New Caledonia, 76 gold, Papua New Guinea, 38 gold, actually tied with the host nation, 38 gold, Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, Nauru, Tonga, New Zealand and Vanuatu running out the top 10. So those are the defending champions, uh, defending champions, obviously New Caledonia, but those are really strong medal contenders coming in. Interestingly, uh, Solomon Islands Prime Minister had a very ambitious uh, goal of 40 gold. Uh, is what he what he wanted his athletes and uh, to to win at these these games. Obviously, the f- first time the country has had any form of actual uh, games infrastructure, and they only got four goals at the last game. So quite a tall order. Wow, there'll be a lot of training going into that. I'm sure for that result. Tell me, um, you're heading over on Saturday to cover the games, but it's also somewhat of a homecoming for you. Sensing, are you sensing much excitement from friends and family in Honiara? Yeah, it seems seems to be. Um, I'm very excited to be going home. Um, there seems to be a lot of mixed reactions to it. I think people that have put work in and that have, you know, really are still still struggling to make this thing work and to put on a good. Um, hospitality for the athletes and make sure everything runs smoothly. They're really being positive about it and trying to work on it. But then you're hearing stories about misused funds and um, some of the contracts that have been given out not not going follow the following the right procedures. And so there's a lot of accountability in that that kind of commentary as well in that space. So it's 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 um it's nice to be going home for a positive story, put it that way. Yeah. The Solomon Islands has so much political instability. There's been riots. There's been security issues. It's been in the news recently for the China um, security agreements. And uh, so, yeah, it, it, it's it's nice to be going there for uh, sports games. Um, but, yeah, it, it, I think once I get a gauge on landing, I'll have a bit more of a sense of where people are feeling. I think there's a bit of pride in the infrastructure. It's quite a beautiful stadium. The, the city of Honiara, which I grew up in, has always just been a sleepy, dusty old town. So to have an actual stadium in it is quite nice. So uh, the last time I was there, it wasn't built yet. It wasn't finished. So I'm, in, I'm really looking forward to seeing that. There's been a lot of talk in the lead up about security for the Games. Yes, quite interested as well. I've been asking for an interview with the police commissioner to talk about this um, massive, massive security presence. Obviously, it's a lot of people there, about 5,000 athletes and officials all up. It's a small, small city and it has had problems with crowd control in the past. Um, but uh, we've had uh, support announced from Australia, the biggest so far, 100 AFP officers, 350 ADF defense personnel. There's uh, RNZ AF um, New Zealand flight crew there supporting with helicopter. Uh, there's a U, uh, U.S. Mercy hospital ship that will be there supporting medical supplies for the games. PNG DF for there, Fiji DF for there. Um, so yeah, quite a quite a big presence in there. I've seen some comments crop up about like, is is this a games or is this a war zone <laughs> kind of thing? But yeah. uh, uh, they're all there, as they've said in their releases, that they've been there. They're be, they're going there on the invitation of the Solomon Islands government uh, on the needs that they they have for delivering a safe and secure game. So yeah, I'll be interested to to have a bit of a, a sense of that security presence as well when I get there. Everyone wants to be Solomon Islands security partner of choice so i think part of that part of that large visibility and presence i think the latest we've seen is more um chinese community engagement officers arriving into the country as well so i think everyone wants to be seen to be a friend to the country that's a friend to all yeah absolutely thank you so much kadoi and all the best thank you